Today I'm going to show you how to make these toe clamps, which I'll use to hold down my toolmaker's vise. I'm starting with some scrap mould steel I had lying around the workshop. I'm using a 50mm carbide insert base mill to rough the block to size. Once I have one side faced, I flip the block over. It's worth noting I always deburr the part before reinserting it in the vise. I depth the cut is around 1mm. This seems to work well with my low horsepower mill. One thing that seems to help with this is this style of base mill as its carbide inserts align so it cuts on its corners. The only downside to these is you can't cut a square shoulder. Once I've faced all the sides of the block, the next thing to do is to split it for the two clamps. This is followed by finishing the cut ends. With all the sides finished, I switched to a roughing end mill. I now remove the excess material from the clamping feature. This consists of two steps, one that fits in the slot of the toolmaker's vise and the other a relief to allow for the clamping. With all the excess material removed, I switch end mills to a standard 12mm 4 flute cutter. This will be used to make the finishing cuts. And that's the finishing cuts complete. The next thing to do is just flip the part over and drill a fixing hole. I use the digital readout to roughly find the centre of the part. It's not particularly critical, so I just use the end of a spotting drill for reference. Part complete, I deburr the holes and it's ready to go. These were a quick part to make, but will make fixing the toolmaker's vice down a lot easier. I look forward to giving these a test on upcoming projects. One last thing I did after these were finished was to give them a coat of cold blue. This will give them a light protection from rust and make them look a little more finished. If you want to make a set of your own, the sizing just comes down to your toolmaker's vice and the T-slots you're fixing them down to. 